Junior Ranger Pale. What's up? I was angry at Pico for eating my waba, and I told him that I didn't want to talk to him anymore. Then he flew away, but I didn't mean it. Please, help me get him back. Oh no, that sounds bad. Don't worry, Peo, we'll find Pico. Since Pico is a toucan, let's start by learning more about toucans to find out where Pico went. Did you find anything about toucans to help us find Pico? Let's see. Pico is a toco toucan. Both male and female toucans have large, colorful bills. But young toco toucans, like Pico, do not have a large bill at birth. It grows as they develop and does not become full size for several months. A toucan's bill weighs lighter than it looks. It's made of the same protein as fingernails. A toucan's bill and our fingernails are made of the same stuff? Cool. Yeah, and their bills have different uses. Toco toucans distribute heat away from their body by adjusting blood flow to their bill. It helps keep them cool. Fruits are a toucan's main source of food. They use their bills to help them peel fruits. Oh, so toucans love fruits, huh? Maybe Pico left to search for more guava to eat. Let's go find him. Hey, Peo, Pico should be around here somewhere. There are lots of guava trees and toucans love to eat fruits. I know, Leo, but he's not here. It seems like just yesterday when I found Pico as an abandoned egg, he was so small. Huh? Wow! Ah! It's raining guavas! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? What are you doing in the guava tree, Ranger Rocky? I'm collecting guavas for a wildlife research project. Why do you look so sad, Peo? And where's Pico? He left, Ranger Rocky. I was mean to him, so he probably went looking for his Tukan family instead. I'm never going to see him again. Don't give up, Peo. Ranger Rocky, can you tell us where we might find Pico? Certainly, Junior Rangers. You'll be able to find several Toko Toucans living together in a single hollow of a tree. They nest in these tree cavities, some of which are created and abandoned by other birds such as woodpeckers. Toko Toucans usually travel among the trees by hopping. They're not very good at flying. If they do fly, they flap their wings vigorously and glide, traveling only short distances. Perhaps this adult toucan can lead you to Pico. I've got to get these guavas back to the research center. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs> the adult toco toucan is hopping away. Then let's follow it. Don't worry, Peo. We'll find Pico in no time. I hope so. I miss him so much. Ever since I found him as an abandoned egg, we have spent every moment together. There's a tree full of Toko Toucans over there. Look! Oh, oh, I see him! I see my Pico! Hi, Pico! I'm very sorry for being mean to you. Please, forgive me. No, Pico! Please! I'm sorry! Oh, dear. I think it's very clear Pico doesn't want me anymore. Enjoy yourself with your real family, Pico. I hope to see you again someday. Goodbye. Let's go home. Okay, Peo. What's happening? It sounds like the toucans are in trouble. Let's go back and help them. Oh no, I hope Pico's okay. <laughs> search for a solution. There's no time, Katie. I'll just fly up and try to rescue Pico. Jetpack, activate. Aha! A high-pitched screech might chase the hawk away. Try it, Katie! Ah! Whoa! I can't get 
Wait, Topeko! Turn it off, Katie! <gasps> Sorry, Leo! Uh, uh, I still can't get Topeko! <laughs> oh, no! Again. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and web feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait. There it is again. I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm. That animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own Platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus One, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh, hang on guys, rough water's ahead. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh no, Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm gonna throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick, grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh no. Got it. Just a little more. Grab my hand, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? Shoot, bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! 
Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. Whoa, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family! The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever! I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. Now. <gasps> Hero, get back here. <sighs> he really hates bath time, huh? Why can't he be more like Zumi? She always smells great. And she never has a hair out of place. I wonder how Jane keeps her clean. Only one way to find out. Hi, Junior Ranger Jane. Hello, Leo. We need your help. Hero hates taking baths. Ugh. And he's smelling a little stinky. But Zumi always looks and smells great. Hmm, <laughs> you are right. How do you do it? I take her to the lemurs. Lemurs? You mean groomers? No, the ringtail lemurs. She loves it when they groom her. Huh? Lemurs that groom? Fascinating. I'm sure the computer can tell us more about them. Right behind you, Katie. Ring-tailed lemurs. There it is. Ring-tailed lemurs live in the forests of Madagascar, and they are known for their long black and white ring tail. Ring-tailed lemurs like to groom one another. Like other lemurs, they have special body parts just for it. Lemurs have a special toilet claw, a long claw-like nail on the second toe that they use to groom. And that's not all. The bottom row of their teeth looks and acts like a comb. A tooth comb? How handy. They also have an extra tongue under their regular tongue. It's smaller, stiffer, and mostly used to clean the tooth comb. They're walking grooming machines. We've got to take Hero to the lemurs. Maybe he'll enjoy being groomed by them. Will you be our guide, Jane? Of course. See you in Madagascar. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's move it, move it. Hey, Jane. Leo, Katie, over here. Whoa. The ringtail lemurs sure like to groom. They're doing it already. But how do we get them to groom Hero? Like this. Oh, Zoomy behaves like a lemur. That was easy. Now it's your turn, Hero. Give it a try. <laughs> Go on, Hero. Go to the lemurs. No need for baths if they can clean you. <laughs> Don't forget to do what Zoomy did. Oh, that's not it. What's the lemur doing? I don't know, but it does not look like grooming. Ew! What's that smell? It smells horrible. Well, that's what you get for starting a stink fight with a ring-tailed lemur. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What's a stink fight, Ranger Rocky? 
Besides sound, lemurs also communicate with their smell. When male lemurs compete with each other, they have stink fights. Male lemurs will wipe their smell onto their tails, then wave it at each other to try to outstink their rivals. A stink fight is the exact opposite of what we came here for. Why do they groom Zumi but not Hero? Well, his lemur walk wasn't as good as Zumi's. Zumi also has a long, bushy tail, like the lemurs. So we've got to help Hero fit in. Sounds like a plan, Leo. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Now, where should we start? Go on, Hero. Try to blend in this time. That's it, Hero. Yes, no more stink fights. He's in. But they're still not grooming him. Why not? Hmm, I'm sure it has to do with the way they're sitting. Aha! The lemurs are taking a sun bath to warm themselves up. They sit upright, open their arms, and face the sun together. <laughs> it looks like it's break time. Ah, I guess Hero's grooming will have to wait. Oh, the sun! Hey, right on time. Now that the sun's gone, the lemurs can help us with... Huh? Hero? Where did he go? <gasps> Hero! It is colder now. The lemurs are huddled together to keep warm. Oh, no! Our disguise worked a little too well. Hero is truly a part of them now. But he can't be comfortable trapped under all of them. We have to get him out. There is no way to get to him. I'm sure the lemurs will stop huddling when it's warm again. But the sun is not coming out anytime soon. Then we'll have to make our own sunlight. Got it. And I know just how to do that. And done. Gotcha. Huh? You don't look too happy to be rescued. Did you enjoy being part of the lemurs? <laughs> well, what do you know? I guess Hero wasn't uncomfortable after all. Mmm. It's so warm and toasty. How's the grooming, Hero? This is kind of nice. I guess it wouldn't hurt if we stayed a little longer. Yeah, the lemurs sure know how to relax. We are here. Wow, where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one, the chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. Well 
you'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. Coming for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Onwards! The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero! Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream. But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry, I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue chameleon? Nope, but it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, Chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They're friends now. No more fighting. You can do this, Bello. Just a little more. Whoa! to get down from here. Hmm. You know, Pico, some of these vines look and feel kind of funny. See? This one almost looks like a... <gasps> snake! And a big one, too! I've got to get down! Ranger Leo speaking. Huh? Pico, is that you? Where's Peo? What's going on, Leo? I'm not sure, Katie. It's Pico. Pico? Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like somebody's talking. Huh? Something's not right. 
Send me the video, Leo. I'll see if I can isolate the voice and amplify its volume. Sure thing, Katie. And... Done! Pico, tell them that I'm stuck in a tree. And there's a big green snake right in front of me. I can't get down. Uh-oh. If we zoom in and unblur it... <gasps> Peo! Green snake. Hmm, they're not that big. Can we look at the video again? Some of the vines look a little funny. Just have to do a quick scan. <gasps> a green anaconda? Oh, no! Peo is stuck in a tree with an anaconda. We've got to get him down quick. We can find out more information about the animal on the way there. Let's see. The green anaconda is the world's largest snake. Anacondas are constrictors. They coil themselves around their prey and squeeze them. With their stretchy jaws, anacondas open their mouths wide to swallow their prey whole. Once they've eaten a big meal, they can go for weeks or months without food. Oh boy, we'd better hurry. Look, it's Peo's bag. Pico! Where's Peo? Is he okay? Over here! I'm over here! Whoa, it's huge! Eep. Don't worry, Peo, we'll get you down! Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate! Here you go, Peo! Thanks, Leo! Now grab hold of us! Oh no! Oh, oh, never mind me! Just take this somewhere safe! We mustn't let anything happen to the flower! <gasps> oh no! Don't worry, Peo. I'll get it. And I'll find a way to get you down. We leave no rangers behind. Huh? Oh! Well, that was easy. Where's it going? Oh, no! Guys! No! Not the bug! Now we'll never get the flower back! Hang on, Peo. Let's get you down first. Huh? Pico! No! You'll get hurt! No, Hero! Hero! The anaconda's way too strong for them. Katie, help me grab its tail. Stop right there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Back away from the tail. What you're about to do is very dangerous. Tangling with an anaconda is a dangerous thing to do. Anacondas are big and strong but they usually only attack humans when they feel threatened. If you mess around with its tail, it might see that as a threat. Green anacondas may move slowly on land, but they're great in water. They're fast swimmers, and because their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads, they can breathe and see even when most of their body is underwater. What do we do then, Ranger Rocky? We have to get my bag! No worries, Peo. I'll take it from here. Leave this to the experts, children. What's he going to do? I have no idea, but I'm sure Ranger Rocky has an awesome plan. Now, now. I don't want any trouble, but I'm going to need that bag. Oh, no you don't. Calm down now. <gasps> It's constricting him! Are you sure you don't need us to do anything, Ranger Rocky? Uh, nope. I have it all under control. Aha! Catch! My bag! Phew, it's all right. It's getting kind of squeezy. Time to get out of here. Be back in a second, Junior Rangers. Oh! Ranger Rocky! Oh, no! Ranger Rocky! Ah! Ah! Ranger Rocky, you're okay! I sure am! That was amazing! But weren't you scared of the anaconda, Ranger Rocky? It's huge! There was no need to be scared. Anacondas are not out to hurt people. The anaconda was just defending itself. Ranger Rocky is right. We're the ones who entered its home. Well, I've learned my lesson. Never approach or provoke an anaconda when you see one. Always check a tree before you climb it. 
You never know what's living in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that you, Junior Ranger Pale? What's up? Hola, Leo. What took you so long? You're never going to believe what I found. There's a monkey climbing down a tree. Really slowly. And it's green. But there's no such thing as a slow green monkey. So I thought I'd better call Leo for help because there must be something wrong with it. Um, just give me a minute, Pale. Oh, and I took a photo of it. I'm sending it to you right now. Um, thanks, Pale, but... So what should I do, Leo? Do you think it's sick? Sorry, Peo, but I can't look at your photo right now. I'll get back to you once I'm done, okay? Oh, okay. Hmm, what is this? <gasps> it's algae! The green stuff is algae! What was that? It's okay, I know what to do now. Thanks, Leo! Huh? Wait, Peo! Don't worry, monkey. Peo and Pico will make it all better. Hmm... Who was that, Leo? It was Pale. He found a really slow green monkey. Hmm. I don't think that's a monkey. But there's only one way to be sure. To, to the, the treehouse! Tree Let's see. It's not a monkey. It's a three-toed sloth. Sloths spend most of their lives hanging upside down from trees. They only come down once a week when they have to use the bathroom. <gasps> Once a week? Yep. Sloths move very slowly to help them save energy. In fact, a sloth's slow lifestyle allows algae to grow on its fur, causing its coat to turn green. The green fur helps it camouflage itself in the trees and hide from its predators. So, a green sloth is a safe sloth. I'd better tell Peo. Hola, Leo. Hey, Peo. Guess what? That's not a monkey you found. That's a sloth. Mmm, a sloth. That's right. And there's nothing wrong with it. Sloths move slowly, and its green fur is a useful camouflage. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? I cleaned off the algae. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's squeaky clean. What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, Pale. We'll be right over to fix this. Ranger, out! Hi, guys. Wow, it's really slow. It'll be way safer up in the trees, but it's going to take forever. We've got to help it go faster. But how do we make it grow faster? Why crawl when you can fly? Huh? A flying sloth? Wow! Cool! The equipment we brought sure came in handy. Ready, Leo? Got it. Now let's fly this sloth back to its home. Yes, it's working. Slowly now, steady. Huh? What's going on? That's not supposed to happen. Oh no, the sloth. I can't control it. It's not responding. Incoming! Watch out! <laughs> wow! Because you dropped the remote? Hand it over. Maybe I can fix it. Here you go, Katie. I'm really sorry. <gasps> it's flying away! We'll go after it. Jetpack, activate. The buttons seem fine. Uh, what if I replace the batteries? Um, I want to help too. Aha! Uh -huh. Katie, can I borrow your jetpack for a second? Sure, Peo. Jetpack, activate! Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, no! Peo, stop! Do you even know how to use it? Hang in there! I can do this, I can do this! Oh! I can't do this! Leo, help! Huh? Peo? Ah! Uh-oh! Hero, you get the sloth. I'll get Peo. Peo? Peo! Peo! <laughs> uh, thanks, Leo. What were you doing with Katie's jetpack? I just wanted to help. <laughs> Did you find the sloth, Hero? <laughs> Over there! It's the sloth! It's swimming! It's pretty fast! I 
thought sloths were slow. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Sloths have a trick or two up their sleeves. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Sloths can swim three times faster than they move on land. And they're great underwater, too. They can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. Hmm, what happened to the green algae on its fur? It was all my fault. I washed the algae off the sloth. It wasn't your fault. You tried. No, I'm the worst junior ranger ever. I'm bad at everything, except plants. I know everything about plants. Wait a minute, aren't algae plants? They're like plants. They need sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and some nutrients to grow. I know everything about algae. Then growing algae is right up your alley, Peo. Let's grow algae on its fur. <gasps> yes, of course, I can help. Give it a try, Peo. I'm sure you can do it. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. All right, Peo, do your thing. Sloth is green again. Let's make sure he gets home safe. Any time now. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, Leo. Now I need you to cut Leo. Oops, sorry, Katie. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. There have been sightings of the mysterious Tanuki in the Japanese forest. Tanuki? Tanuki is the Japanese name for raccoon dog. Some say that the Tanuki is a shapeshifter. Here, I'll send you a photo of it. That's just a myth, Kai. A story that isn't true. It's scientifically impossible for an animal to transform itself with magic. Which is why it'll be incredible if my invention captures the impossible. I'm going to film the exact moment that Tanuki shapeshifts with my camera. Hmm. How about we look for more information about the Tanuki first? All right, Leo. I'll send the photo to my computer. Great. There it is. The Tanuki. The Tanuki, also known as the raccoon dog, isn't actually a raccoon. They may look alike, but tanukis are more closely related to foxes, wolves, and dogs. Tanukis can climb trees and they can also swim. It didn't say it can shapeshift. But it didn't say it can't shapeshift either. Hmm. If anyone is going to prove the impossible, it's me. I have to find the tanuki and film it shapeshift. Would you guys like to come over to help? Sure, Kai. Myth or not, we'd like to help you and find out more about the Tanuki ourselves. Cool beans! I'll share the location where the Tanuki was last seen. Meet you guys there. Ranger out! Ranger out! Whoa! Look out! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Show yourself, Tanuki! Ah! It's just us, Kai. That's Hero. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Hero. Is this your video camera, Kai? It sure is. Meet the Chimera 1000. A state-of-the-art drone with a superior 10K Ultra HD video camera. There's nowhere a Tanuki can hide from Chimera 1000. This is my new video camera. It doesn't have a fancy name. And it doesn't have as many functions as yours. But it certainly beats my video camera. It's all cool, guys. I could use all the help I can get. Great! Kai can wait up in the trees in case the Tanuki decides to climb up. Let's get into position, Rangers. Any luck, guys? Nope. Not me. Hero found something! Camera's rolling, guys! Let's go! It's going into the log! Quick! Before it escapes! Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? No way! The Tanuki turned itself into Ranger Rocky! Sorry, Junior Rangers. 
I'm no Tanuki. I'm just Ranger Rocky. But how do we know you're not a Tanuki that shapeshifted into Ranger Rocky? Would a Tanuki know how to talk? Well, um... Look, Kai, I think the Tanuki got away from that hole instead. Oh, man. How are we going to find it now? Tanukis can be tricky to spot. It's especially easy to mistake a Tanuki for a raccoon, but you'll never go wrong if you look out for their paw prints and tails. While the raccoon leaves paw prints that are similar to humans, the Tanukis are more similar to foxes and dogs. Also, raccoons have striped tails, but Tanukis don't. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Rocky? Huh? Where did he go? Look! It's over there! So, that's a tanuki, right? Not a raccoon? There are no stripes on its tail! That's definitely a tanuki! Yes! We're coming for you! You can run, but you can't hide from the Chimera 1000! No! Chimera 1000! <laughs> the camera is damaged! I can't video the tanuki now! How could I be so careless? It's okay, Kai. We still have my camera. But it can't fly. Unless... Wow, Katie! Your camera is just as amazing as mine! Thanks, Kai! We've got you now, Tanuki. Shapeshift! <laughs> I'm sure it's just getting warmed up. Any time now. It's been hours, Kai. I don't think it's gonna shapeshift. Tanakis are not shapeshifters. <sighs> I guess you guys are right. So much for proving the impossible. Well, we tried. Come on, we should head home now. It's late already. Junior Ranger Kai, are you ready for movie night? Hi, Leo. I don't think I can make it. What? Why not? I have to collect the smell of a binturong for my smell collection. A binturong? What's that? Binturongs are animals that smell like popcorn. I need to collect its smell. <sighs> but I'm just so busy. There's no way I'm gonna make it for the movie night. What if we help you find the binturong, Kai? Would that save you some time? <gasps> You would do that for me? Of course! That's what Junior Rangers are for! That would be awesome! Call me when you guys find one! Ranger out! Ranger out! An animal that smells like popcorn? I've never heard of that! How exactly does a binturong look like? Let's find out! A binturong has a face like a cat, a body like a small bear, and a tail like a monkey! They're also known as bear cats, but they're not actually bears or cats. Binturongs smell like popcorn because of their urine. They use their smell to mark their territories and attract mates. Where can we find binturongs? They can be found in the forests of Southeast Asia. Then we should get Farah to help us. She's familiar with the forest there. Great idea, Leo. Let's call her on the way there. All right. Do you smell that? Popcorn. Popcorn! It's coming from over there. <gasps> A binturong! Good job, Hero. I'll send Kai our location. Huh? Hero, play nice. That's strange. My handbook says binturongs live high up in the trees and are really good climbers. Oh no! Are you okay, binturong? <sighs> it's not a very good climber. Is your handbook incorrect, Farah? <gasps> My handbook is never wrong! I think Popcorn just hasn't learned how to climb a tree. Popcorn? Popcorn, Popcorn is a nice name for it. He smells like popcorn. Popcorn the binturong. 
I love it. While we wait for Kai to get here, we should teach Popcorn how to climb. Here, Popcorn. Just grip the branch really tightly, then pull yourself up. Easy. That's it. You're nearly there. Good job, Popcorn. Let's try another one. Huh? Popcorn, you're never going to learn if you stop at the first branch. I think Popcorn needs a little motivation to climb higher. That's right, Popcorn. I have your favorite fig right here. Come get it. You're doing great, Popcorn. You can do this. <laughs> we believe in you. Aw, let's take a little break. Here, Popcorn, you deserve this. <gasps> gotcha. Ranger Rocky. Phew. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. You're welcome, Leo. Are you guys teaching the Binturong to climb? Yep. Popcorn here doesn't climb very well, Ranger Rocky. Well, the secret is in Popcorn's tail. The Binturong has a prehensile tail. That means that it can use its tail to grab objects. Their tail acts like a fifth limb that holds onto branches and trunks, allowing the Binturong to climb more easily. This makes it one of their more important climbing tools. There is also a leathery patch at the tip of its tail that helps them grip branches more securely. We'll make sure Popcorn practices more. Great! I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Oh dear! Be careful, Popcorn! Hmm... I don't think its tail is strong enough. Then let's fix that! I know how we can make Popcorn stronger! Lift! Just a bit more! That's it! Come on! Higher! You got this! Think of all the trees you can climb after this! <laughs> That's the way, Popcorn! You're doing great! You're nearly at the top! Just a bit more! All right, you made it, Popcorn! Awesome! Yay! I told you Binturongs could climb. My handbook is never wrong. Oops, sure, Farah. Hi, guys. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi. Thanks for finding the Binturong. I can't wait to collect its smell. Hi, Popcorn. Don't mind me. I'm just here to collect your smell. Got it! Thanks, Popcorn! Oh, it's time for movie night! Let's go! Bye, Popcorn! Yay! Movie night! Bye, Popcorn! Bye, popcorn. <gasps> Wait for me! Mission accomplished! Ugh, what's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. <sighs> it's coming from over there! Hey, you! You're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. Hero, come back. You need a bath. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome. It is. I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. Here it is. Even though they're called red pandas, 
They don't look anything like pandas. While both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great! I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out! Ranger out! Hi, Hi Kai! <laughs> Hi, guys! This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? A uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. But what now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! The smell is strongest here. It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get it stink. <gasps> it's headed this way. <gasps> oh, man. It's your new smell bomb, an earthworm. I already have that one. I just want the red panda stink. What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate. Hey, wait for me. Hover boots, activate. It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes. The red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! Uh. What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up! What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting! I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb. I'll take that. Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished. <gasps> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. <sighs> Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe 
the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate Males, in particular, tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Bara. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, Proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh, dear. It didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Lagging behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't hung. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. 
hit subscribe and click the like icon.